Hello everyone, I'm going to go over the strengths of the Occultus and Necromancer in 320 and I'm going to be all over the place, I'm not going to really um, have any rhythm or rhyme to it so I'm just going to start going over things and I also want to add, um, this is for um, someone asked me a question, I'm just going to use his, um, like the beginning of his name, and this is for Rod, he asked me a question earlier today and I felt really really bad because I've been really busy today um, talking on reddit and all this other stuff so this one's for you Rod. I appreciate the question it's a really good question so I'm gonna just jump in and I'm also gonna add that I'm gonna only go over the strengths and weaknesses I don't think I'm gonna find too many weaknesses but I'm gonna go over the strengths of the um, ascendancies of occultists and necromancers and um, it's going to be based mainly or all on minions and how they are affected by this. So, just let me begin. I'll start with the occultists and try to get everything I possibly can and my thoughts about what the um, strengths are. So I'm going to start off with um, Unholy Authority. And uh, you can apply an additional curse or hexes can affect uh, hex-proofed enemies. So, this Ascendancy allows you to get more nodes on a talent tree so you could get more damage more health because trying to get whispers of doom is a far distance from where most of the minion damage that um melee or attack damage is at if you look at my tree you could see all the um nodes for the um, minion builds are on the left hand side of the tree kind of like the upper left hand side of the tree and when you take unholy authority you don't have to use that for you don't have to have an anointment for whispers of doom as well so it helps a lot by giving you a lot more choices on the town tree and allowing you to get more health life mana or what you need in a build so i'm going to go over profane bloom cursed enemies you or your minions kill have a 50 percent chance to explode dealing a quarter of their maximum life as chaos damage i think this is self-explanatory this definitely helps a lot while um, clearing maps but it definitely doesn't really help while doing bosses it might help on the elder fight but this ability is one of a kind and it definitely helps clear boss and clears maps really, really fast. And it keeps you alive very well. One of my favorite abilities on the cultist tree is Void Beacon. And what this does is it um decreases cold resistance, cast resist by negative twenty percent when you're by the enemies. And it also reduces life regeneration when you're close to enemies as well. So, I know a lot of people don't really like to be close to a mob or a boss, but being able to have this much damage attached to an ascendancy helps a lot. It's like whenever I whenever I use a necromancer um tree for ascendancies, I always like getting void beacon because I think it it's one of the best ascendancies for the um, minion builds. Then you have Withering Presence, 60% chance to cast resist, that's a no-brainer. So, like, getting 60% cast resist from uh, Ascendancy is huge. And uh, um, more cast damage is not really good for minions. But another really good thing about Withering Presence is every second inflict Withered on nearby enemies for 15 seconds. So that helps to get your withering stacks up to 15, which increases your damage significantly, and it helps a lot. Now, nearby hindered enemies deal 15% reduced damage over time, so it's protecting you. Um, withering Presence is really good because it allows you to um, customize your items differently because you're going to get all that cast resist, and you're going to get withered stacks every second with nearby enemies so i believe that's so the occultist tree is helping you 
reduce the amount of nodes that you have to sacrifice in your itemization and on the talent tree. So you could actually get more nodes for life, mana, um, minion damage or more minions or like another cluster jewel. And I think that's really good. You also could take these other nodes, but the only other one I've ever used was Vile Bastion. And it regenerates 40 energy shield per second. Regenerate 2% of energy shield per second for each enemy you or your minions have killed recently, up to 10% per, se per second. You cannot be stunned while you have an energy shield. So that's really good. And you can't be stunned with an energy shield and you're regenerating your um, energy shield, which is huge. It, it, I think that one's pretty self-explanatory. I believe the, the other two ascendancy, main ascendancies, really don't play a huge role in minion builds. So I'm going to hop over to the Necromancer. I am not a huge fan of the Elementalist tree. I think that um, two extra golems is definitely not enough DPS or damage to um, use it. Or I have not found a way to use it yet. So, I'm not going to say it's bad or, or if it's good. I just have not found a way to use it. I always look at my um, Golem builds to see if I could um, fit in Elementalist to try to get it more um, DPS and everything, but I just cannot do it. So, let me jump into the um, Necromancer, which has a lot of cool abilities for minions. And I'll go over them really quick. You have Unnatural Strength, Minions have Unholy Might, which gives you a lot of damage. You, there's a Mastery on the tree for your minions to get um, Unholy Might. Um, for, like It's about 25% chance when they kill an enemy. So having this on all the time is definitely really cool and helps your builds a lot and, they do, and it helps do a lot of damage. Mindless Aggression is definitely just more damage for your minions, and it's going to bump your damage more. I'll also say this right now, right now at the moment, um, Necromancer, the builds I've been making for Necromancers are more powerful than um, Occultist right now, but if I switch over the Occultist, I don't know how well my builds that I'm doing right now are going to fare against the Necromancer build. So maybe like later down in 320, I might be able to see exactly how powerful the Occultus is for the builds that I've been making recently. So at the moment, I'm going to say that Necromancer is more powerful, but I am not 100% sure, you know, take that with a grain of salt. As I was, as I was saying, then you have Bone Barrier, which is for survival. Grants level 20 bone armor skill, 1% additional physical damage reduction per enemy up to 10%, 2% increased recovery rate of life and energy shield per minion up to 20%, minions have 20% more maximum life. So having 10 minions by you increases your physical damage reduction by 10, and having 10 minions by you increases your recovery rate of life and energy shield by 20%. Really good. And Bone Armor is really good too. I believe it is like a 2,200 um, shield from all damage in a game. So really, really good. It definitely helps your survivability and it adds on to your survivability as well. Army of Dark, Commander of Darkness, I apologize. Orders from your skills grant 3% increased attack and cast speed to you and your allies. You and nearby allies gain 30% increased damage. You and nearby allies have plus 30 to elemental resist. So this is pretty self-explanatory. A definite great boost and resist and damage for your minions. All around really good, good ability. And one other ability that I use a lot for my minion builds or have in, in the past or I will in the future as well is Mistress of Sacrifice. Your offering skills also affect you. Your offerings have 50% reduced effect on you, 40% increased skill effect duration. <clears throat> Excuse me. So 
using bone offering with mistress of sacrifice is going to give you like 25 block and spell block chance when you're using mistress of sacrifice and that is a huge survivability increase for any minion build or any build in the game so mistress of sacrifice is a huge ascendancy and when you use the necromancer build it is i feel like that it's a very complete um ascendancy tree it gives you survivability damage for your minions and it, i think it's an all-around great um ascendancy tree and i also believe that the occultist tree is really really good too in its own ways so at the moment though i would say necromancers beat the necromancer tree beats the occultist tree but in the future i might be saying something else and the Elmetos tree, I'm not a huge fan right now. I have not been able to work it into any of my builds. But I'm not going to discredit it yet because I might actually use it. So that goes over my, um, my thoughts and observations on um, Ascendancy trees for the Witch for Minions. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please be safe and be careful because you never know when, when something bad is going to happen. Please be safe. Till next time, have a nice day. Please show some love and sub. Thank you so much for watching.